the electrical circuit is the first thing we want to establish. Electrical circuit operates this. Let's say it's a battery. Now, we're not going to get involved with the electrons travel from negative to positive, positive, negative. We're not going to get into that. Let's just say they travel off the negative polarity of a battery, and they go through an overcurrent protection device showing a fuse. Then there's a switch, and then it's going to go through the light bulb, and then the current travels back on this neutral conductor going back over to this battery. This is an electrical circuit. And if you, if you could, I'd like you guys to take a pencil and a paper. I'd like you at home. I'd like you to write some fundamental things out. And would some of you guys on the team write this down, get something and write it down? And I'm curious if we can come up with something at the end. A lot of times I think we're going to do this, and I never for, and I forget to do it. See if we can make some fundamentals. Number one fundamental we want to remember is this. Current leaves the source and returns to the source. Those are facts. Okay? current leaves the source, returns to source. Take a look at this graphics. That's number one thing. Write it down. The current leaves the power supply, goes to the load, and returns back. to the, That's called an electrical circuit. That's the, that's the way it works. Now, alternate current works off of this. That is that if you move a magnetic field through a conductor, that will cause the electrons to be moved in a closed circuit. If you move it one direction, the current you can see the current's going to the right. And then if you move the magnetic field the other direction, the current then goes in the other direction. But no matter whether you're running a DC circuit, where the current leaves the source and returns to the source in one direction, or whether you're running an AC circuit where the current leaves the source, goes back to the source, and returns and, and alternates current, you still have the same case. Here is an example. You have a transformer which has a primary, and current leaves the previous source, returns to that source, and then it creates magnetic coupling, and it forces electrons on a secondary to leave the source and to return to the source. So basic fundamentals of an electrical circuit is current leaves the source and it returns to the source. That's electrical circuit. What current does not do, current does not go to ground. Number two, right? One, leaves the source. Number two, current does not go to ground. It goes to where? Current leaves the source, returns source. We're not talking about lightning protection. We're not talking about utility distribution systems. We're talking about, hey, it's a 120 volt circuit. It's a 120, 280, 277, 480. It's just an electrical circuit. It leaves the source, it comes back to source. That's the way it works. It's not going to ground. 